Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we will explore a fascinating and sometimes misunderstood topic, the women who, according to history or myth, broke bands or profoundly influenced the personal relationships of musicians. From the times of the Renaissance to the present days of rock and pop, there have been many women who, for one reason or another, have been seen as responsible for the dissolution of bands or conflicts among artists. But before we begin, it's important to remember that the narrative blaming women for these problems is often riddled with stereotypes and oversimplifications. Life in music is complex and the issues of a band or a musician usually have many causes. That said, here are some of the most famous stories that have been part of this legend. Women in the Classical Era Let's start by traveling back in time to the era of the Renaissance and Classicism. In these periods, music was deeply influenced by royal courts and the church, and personal relationships played a significant role in the careers of composers. One of the names that appears in this category is Clara Schumann, an incredible pianist and wife of composer Robert Schumann. Although their relationship was a love story, it was also marked by difficulties. Robert struggled with mental health issues, and Clara had to sacrifice her own career to care for him. While she didn't break a band, her presence in Schumann's life affected his emotional stability and creativity. Another example is Constanze Mozart, wife of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. She has sometimes been blamed for not properly managing Mozart's legacy after his death, although it is also true that she fought to preserve his music. The tensions in their relationship were complex, and while she did not cause Mozart's downfall, her influence on his personal life has been a subject of much debate. Moving a bit further in history, we find the tumultuous relationship between composer Frédéric Chopin and writer George Sand. Their romance was passionate but difficult, and some say their relationship affected Chopin's health in his later years. Although Chopin is remembered as a genius, George Sand's influence on his personal life is undeniable and continues to be discussed today. We also have Alma Mahler, wife of Gustav Mahler. Alma was a talented composer, but her relationship with Mahler was complex. He asked her to abandon her musical career, which she did, creating tensions between them. After Mahler's death, Alma married other influential artists, and her figure has been seen as a muse and, in some cases, as a source of conflict in the lives of the men around her. Now we move to more recent times, and here the stories of women who broke bands become more common in popular culture, especially in rock and pop. Yoko Ono is perhaps the most famous example of this. As the partner of John Lennon, Yoko has been pointed out for decades as the reason for the breakup of the Beatles. But, as any true fan of the band knows, the story is much more complicated. The Beatles were already facing internal tensions and creative differences before Yoko appeared on the scene. However, her closeness to Lennon and her influence on him made her an easy target for criticism from fans and the press. Another iconic example is Courtney Love, the controversial wife of Kurt Cobain from Nirvana. Courtney has been accused by some of having negatively influenced Kurt's life, especially in his struggle with addiction and fame. Like with Yoko, it is unfair to blame only Courtney for Nirvana's problems, but her relationship with Cobain was a constant topic in the media and among fans. Nancy Spungen, the girlfriend of Sid Vicious from the Sex Pistols, 
is also on this list. Their relationship was infamous for being highly destructive. Drug addiction and violence surrounded their romance, which tragically ended with Nancy's death and Sid's arrest. Although their relationship was not the only reason the Sex Pistols dissolved, it undoubtedly played a role in their downfall. Linda McCartney has also been a subject of debate. As the wife of Paul McCartney, she was part of the band Wings. Despite not being a professional musician, her presence in the band was criticized, especially by fans who did not appreciate her role in the group. However, Paul always defended Linda's participation, and although Wings did not last as long as the Beatles, their relationship was an important part of their musical dynamic. Continuing with additional examples, we find Peggy Harper, the first wife of Paul Simon from Simon and Garfunkel. Although not as well known as Yoko or Courtney, some fans believe that the problems in their marriage were one of the factors that led to the breakup of the iconic duo. Tensions between Paul and Art Garfunkel already existed, but Simon's personal separation may have accelerated the band's dissolution. In a similar vein, we can mention Patti Boyd, a woman who was married to both George Harrison from The Beatles and Eric Clapton. Her relationships with these two legendary musicians sparked one of the most famous love triangle stories in rock. Although the Beatles were already on their way to breaking up, Boyd's relationship with Clapton created additional tensions, especially between the two friends. Throughout history, these women have often been unjustly labeled as responsible for the downfall of bands or musical careers. However, the reality is always more complex. Bands and musicians face many pressures, creative, commercial, and personal. Close relationships, whether romantic or not, are just one part of those dynamics. It is important to question these narratives and remember that many of these women also played positive roles in the lives of these musicians, supporting their careers, inspiring their art, or even fighting to preserve their legacy. Thank you for joining me on this journey through history. If you enjoyed the video and want to support my work, you can visit my pages on Patreon and buy me a coffee. There you can find exclusive content, previews, and other ways to collaborate with my productions. The links to Patreon and buy me a coffee are in the video description. Thank you very much for your support. See you in the next video. And now I recommend this video.